Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings everybody, um, as usual let's take a look at the euro currency. So uh, on the daily chart picture mostly stands uh, the same compared to what we have talked about recently in yesterday video. So actually market just has completed uh, our suggestion that probably should hit the first FIB level in the conjunction of the different FIB resistance levels it's right here. So it's called kind of the double confidence so you could treat as a confidence these these levels it's confidence resistance or you could treat as a confidence that levels but anyway all these three levels create the significant resistance area and market just has hit the lower board of this level so 1730 is the first fib level this market has reached also it combined with the um, deliver but again so the same story is here here was minor 618 if you remember from, from somewhere from this top or from that top 618 for reasons and overbought and here was a bit greater reaction down compared to what we see on the intraday charts so here is the same story market meets uh, first um, first few area in this uh, among three levels and hit the overbought it means the reaction could be a bit different the one thing uh, a bit stronger so uh, the one thing I bring on the market as well today is this um, nicely looking bullish divergence with MACD. So it's very important stuff because uh, actually this is not just a hand over somewhere in space. This pattern is forming right at the major support area on the weekly chart. In the period of the divergence right at the major support of the weekly chart. It's also your early pivot uh, point so it, it, it makes sense. Divergence are not very reliable if they appear somewhere in an area where we do not have any significant support area, support levels. So if we have nothing and market starts to form some reversal pattern and it's accompanied by the divergence, it's not very reliable. But when divergence appears uh, around the major levels that you see on the high time frames and market is forming the bullish reversal pattern around these areas, this is quite a different story. So now we're watching for this bounce down. Uh, we are following our trading plan and uh, yesterday we discussed uh, what our trading plan is. Actually on the follow time from chart we have two targets of this upper reaction. The first target is a COP and we said this will be first destination point uh, of this ABC bottom. Next target will be OP and it stands at 1850 approximately. So while the SO, uh, COP stands at the lower border of this consolidation, resistance 1730, the OP stands mostly we could say right at the upper border of this consolidation. As we expect mostly um, reversal down in action to the 115 just to get this price of action to get the bottom of the right arm of our large hand shoulders patching. We uh, need to see the reversal somewhere around the neckline, but reversal could happen as from the lower border of this consolidation, as from the upper border. Uh, in both cases, this will not be something outstanding, so it's just a technical moment, and it, it, it's actually not very important uh, for us because we anyway we will be watching for approximately 115, 115, 50 area where a bottom should be formed, and that because because that's actually the point where we're thinking to go long. This is the interesting point for daily traders. Uh, but for, on the intraday charts, for intraday uh, traders, this could be a really important thing. So one thing that we just need to know about the situation is that as this is strong resistance on the daily, reaction on this probably will be, will be stronger and something of that sort. So here, guys, actually this line is the cloned line of this retracement. That was a retracement in the similar story. There's two harmonic swings to the downside. It's approximately the level that market should hit at least. Recall what was said yesterday. Until market hasn't reached COP, 
you could follow with the minor harmonic retracements and try and take the long position. For example, yes, this was opportunity for scalp traders to take the position here and reach the COP. So it was minor trade, small trade, but still uh, it has been completed. Now as market hits the COP, you can't rely on the minor harmonic swing. You need to expect a deep action. And at least this will be double side of the harmonic swing. And after that, you need to keep an eye on what will hold next. If market will reverse up and take out of this top, continue move higher, it means we are going to OP, it's 1850. But if here we start to see the dropping down lower, increasing of the two measures of the harmonic swing, appearing of the higher reversal pattern, it will mean that our major retracement already has started. And we should be ready for uh, seeing the year around 115, 115.50. So that's what we'll be watching for right now. Uh, speaking on the patterns, guys, on the hourly chart, currently I see nothing but maybe this kind of the hand shoulders pattern since market stands at the major daily resistance. It's also nicely divergence with the MACD again. Uh, I do not know yet what the shape ABCD pattern will take, but it's just an approximate calculation, guys. So if we suggest that market will keep the harmony, it means that market should show retracement somewhere to this area, it's 117. And in this case, taking this ABCD lead us 116.27. That will be the first point market could reach and will complete the retracement down. 1627 and it's approximately agrees with the two harmonic swings to the downside. 1630, 1627 will be the minimum destination point that market should hit on this reaction on the daily resistance that we have. That's all what we'll be watching for. So if you're a scalp trader and you're planning to take the short here, very common thing on the slope of the head is the guardless chip to sell. So, for example, market shows drop down back to the neckline. You very often the C, A, B, C leg takes the shape of A, B, C, D upper retracement. That in turn gives you the regardless cheap or to sell pattern. For others, um, for daily traders, as I said, we just keep watching what will happen. Because now our major uh, concern is what will happen as reaction on the COP. Whether it will trigger major retracement or it will be just minor bounce, market still will continue higher. In this case, we will start to watch for a major retracement from the OP point. Anyway, currently, it's not a good idea taking long position because market at every bot on the daily, market at agreement with the 1730 resistance, as the as it's actual daily bearer stretch patient by the chart Napoli. And anyway, you need to wait for a bounce. Whatever you um, intraday traders or your daily trader, if you're watching for taking the long, anyway, currently, it's better to wait for some uh, response, some retracement down for taking the position. 